man, I'm Ben J100, though, one half of the group, new boys. You know what I'm saying? You a jerk. I know you a jerk. You know what I'm saying? Man. I'm out here. When I went to jail, it was over uh, a warrant I had that I was running away from. So they ended up catching me. And uh, when I did go to jail, it was actually on my daughter's birthday. So that was like the worst feeling ever because... Man, I just gave my daughter a present, so I was just about to step out, have a good time real quick. And then, damn, I was in there for like, from her birthday, because it's in December, all the way to the uh, beginning of the year. So I was in there, and it, it was the worst feeling ever. So. All right, good afternoon. This is State of Florida versus Steven Testa with multiple cases before the court. Yo, what's poppin', man? It's your boy E.I. The King, and this is the Incarceration Podcast, where I talk about prison, pre, post, and present, and how everything that I experienced throughout my incarceration has forever changed my life. This is the incarceration. So Forever Convict family, once again, we are on the journey to 50,000 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so now. Share this channel with somebody who All right, buddy, my you. first question, bro, is what's your name, where you from, and what are you doing out here at South by Southwest tonight, dog? My name is Kente Cowboy. I'm from Columbus, Ohio. I'm out here to do a couple shows and fuck some bad hoes. All right. My name is E.I. The King. I'm the host of the Incarceration Podcast. I got one question for you tonight, my G. Have you ever been to jail or prison? And if so, why? I've been to both, for robbery and felonious assault. All right, how much time you do on the road, man? Um, first time I did a year, the second time I did two years, then the last time I did five years. How long you been out? I've been out for seven years. Okay, that's what's up, dog. When, they, uh, when you went to prison the first time, go ahead and just briefly paint the picture for the viewer what that first day up the road was like, man. Well, I'm gonna let you know this, and I don't give a fuck how nobody feel. When I seen them motherfucking gates at that 19 years old, I couldn't do nothing but cry. I'm like, only motherfucker gonna help me in this bitch is God. I, I'm like, I start crying, like, man, I fucked up. But when I got up in there, I manned up, man. I had to do what I had to do. That's real, man. What was some, just give me, a, uh, give the viewer a brief rundown of what was after a couple years in your bed, especially the long bed. What was your everyday uh, routine like up the road, man? What it looked like? I had to work out, and, and every chance I got, I took advantage of it. I went to college. I did all the, the little work assessments to become a plumber, a uh, welder. I just always took advantage of everything that they had to give before I knew I don't want to go back there. Fire, bro. Well, give us a crazy story. What was one of the weirdest, funniest, or craziest things you've seen in the chain game? I was walking on the yard. And this nigga, hey, he must have stole somebody's player or what the fuck, I don't know what he stole. But the nigga came out and he threw a baseball and he hit him in his eye so hard that his eye, his actual eye popped out and dropped. That was the craziest shit I seen when I was in prison. Dang, dog. Now what about getting out and transitioning back into society? Was there any difficulties getting out, getting out of prison, coming back to society? And what were those difficulties? I got out. Seven, six months, no, by like three, three, maybe three months before I was supposed to get out. And it was the hardest thing for me, man. I lost everything. I lost my house. I lost my wife. I lost everything. And I had to come back from nothing. And then three months later after me being out, I lost my brother. So it was just like so fucked up for me. But shit, here I am now. I'm doing my thing. So I thank God that I'm still here. That's what's up, dog. If you could send a message of inspiration, hope, and encouragement to the boys still doing time right now, what would it be, dog? Man, the ones that's doing life, man, uh, y'all gonna have to stay down and say the young niggas that's coming in here to show them not to come back. The niggas that's on your way home, man. The real life world is a hard place when you transition it back to this shit, but don't give up. Just stay down until you come back up, man. It's gonna work out for you. That's real. Where can the people find you at, G? Find me on Instagram, K-E-N-T-A-Y underscore T4L, and just type in Kente Cowboy on any network social media thing you can find so this is my first question buddy what's your name where you from and what you doing out here at south by tonight man, man corbin man but they call me mick flop i'm out here man this is my first day off the monitor i'm out here just chilling hanging with my boy Lil c man we out here just enjoying the vibes man and seeing what's going on man seeing who we can be a blessing to man all right so listen man we just did another uh, piece of content 
for me personally, but for the podcast, people who don't know, how did we just run into each other? How did you recognize me? What is happening? Man, I was coming out of a spot. Dude pull up on me, and I'm like, man, I know you, I man. Know I know that dude, man. I've been watching him on the tablet for the last two years, man. I just did seven years in the pen, man. And this man helped me get through some days, man. I ain't gonna lie, I had some rough days. They pop a music video on there. I'm listening to E.I. the King. I'm like, man, bro, this dude helped me get through my days and motivating me, man. Lifting me up. That's fire, bro. But listen, bro, it's an honor to meet you, bro, and to see you right here back in society, man. So we already know that you've been up the road, man. So we're going to go ahead and get straight to the story, bro. So if you don't mind sharing, bro, what did you go up the road for? Uh, how much time did you do? And go ahead and paint a brief picture, man, to the viewer of how your first day in prison was. Man, I ain't going to lie. Uh, I went down for robbery. Me and my partners, my co-defendant flipped on me. I got a 12 and an 8. I did seven seven years and 16 days, man. My first day in prison, man. I seen a whole riot and a dude get stabbed on the phone. It was a it was a, a, a culture shock because you hear dudes coming from the pen talking about they had fun. I ain't had fun now one day out of the seven years. I'm still confused. I'm trying to figure out when they had fun at. Like, man, but I didn't waste no time down there. I went to college down there. I helped over 70 people get their GED. Man, I worked on my craft, I worked on my clothing line, and I came home, I only been home six, three days. I'm still on monitor. Let's see it, man. You know what I'm saying, still on monitor. Like, I get off on Friday. I came home, got straight to the business and followed my plan, man. All I gotta say is, if you down there, if you, if you down there on lock, man, make a plan, man. Cause if you don't write your plan down, you ain't gonna follow your plan. I wrote my plan down and I'm out here following my plan. I've been home 63 days and I'm up further than people that I left seven years ago that been in the world. Like, it's frustrating to me to see even some of my partners that been out here in the world, they ain't doing nothing. Seven years, 63 days, I'm already up further than they are. God is a blessing, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. You stay dedicated, you follow what he gave you and the gifts he gave you and you use them, the universe gonna open up for you. I promise it's gonna open up for you. I'm, I'm a walking testimony, I can tell you that. That's real, sure. bro. When it comes to all that time you did, do you feel like it impacted your life for the positive or the negative, and how so? I ain't gonna lie, it really affected my life for the positive because it made me sit down and reevaluate how I was moving and what I was doing. And it made me reevaluate the people that I had around me that I was enabling to, to not do nothing with their life. I was enabling my partners not to do nothing because they knew I would take care of them. But when it all came down to it, they wasn't there for me. And they were only my friends because it was convenient. My mom always told me, your friends are only your friends because it's convenient. I didn't understand until I went to the pen. And now I came home, they're like, man, what's up? What's going on? And they weren't even there. But it affected my life in the positive because I was able to sit down and reevaluate what's going on in my life and what I was doing wrong and what I was doing right and what I will and will not sacrifice for, what I will and won't lay down for. You know what I'm saying? So I went to college down there, like I said. I helped several people get their GED. I, I focused on me and found who I am, so I'm good with who I am. Like, I'm gonna acquire a taste, so if you don't like me, you need to acquire a taste. That's real, bro. Now, last question, bro. If you could drop, if you could drop a kite, if you could, if you could send a message to them boys still doing time right now, man, what would it be, my G? Man, stay down, work on your plan, man. There's better days. I ain't gonna lie. There's better days out there for you, man. There's better days, and this isn't the end. So don't think it's the end. Work on yourself first because you can't help nobody if you don't help yourself. I recommend going to college if you can, getting your GED if you can, going to school, man, expand your knowledge, man. Expand your knowledge and, and work on yourself. Because once you're good with yourself, no matter what nobody else think about you, it ain't gonna matter. As long as you're good with you, but you can't help nobody unless you're good with you. So focus on you, stay down, and, and know what's going on, and be prepared to come out here. Get whatever knowledge you can get. That's the most important thing in life, man. Knowledge is key, knowledge is number one. Where can the people find you at, bro? Man, you can find me on Instagram at, uh, at KCGPREZ. And go ahead and go ahead and follow the clothing line. It's at Flying Maintain, but the F is a 7, man. It's spelled directly how it is, except the F is a 7, man. Fly forever, man. We out here, man. They call me McFly, man. Fly forever. We out here. Just check we us out. out. Here, man. There you go. Check First us question, out. bro. What's your name? Where you from? And what you doing out here at South by, dog? Hey, man. I'm from Austin, Texas, man. Doug Springs, representative, man. Southside, baby, man. My name is Chris. 
Come to Dove, ask somebody for the true Dove, they know who I am, man. Bad baby for real. There you go, dog. All right, so listen, my, I'm the E.I. the King, the host of the Incarceration Podcast. I got one question for you tonight, my G. Have you ever been to jail or prison? Oh, yeah, man. I did a lot of time in the state. Shout out to them boys in TDC, man. They know about me. Little Pup is here. And I did fed time, man. I just got out the feds. All right, so before we get to the feds, how much time you do in state time, man? Man, I did 12 years straight. Okay, in all TDC? Gladi all Gladiator Farms. Where was you at? Where was you at TDC, from, man? From, from Ferguson to Styles to Rocket Robinson, a huge unit. Like, shout out to them Central Texas boys. Like, we here. There you go. All right, if you don't mind me asking, bro, what'd you do all the 12 years for in state, man? Man, I'm going to be real with you, man. My body and soul, man. You know what I'm saying? Not even just on a religious level, but find yourself, man. It's all about self. When you a better person, you make people better that's around you. You understand what I'm saying? And that's just the realism of the story. Like, you be better for you, that's gonna make the people around you love you more, and that's gonna make the people around you be better. Cause they gonna see an example. You gotta lead by that. That's real, dog. How much time you do with Fez? Man, I did three years in the feds. They had me in Mexico, man, West Texas. Right? Dang, nah. Like, I, I was a lonely nigga. Uh, <laughs> so what's the difference? What was the biggest difference from doing it? Because you did a lot of state time. So what was the big difference between doing fed time and state time? To be real with you, the state ain't got no organization. From the people in the community down there, like the fellas, they not organized. When you go to the feds, you all you got. Your skin is your sin. So you got to know who you are and how to rock. Because you don't represent for you, you represent for the people that's around you. That's the same type of person you are. You understand? So that's, that's, that's the ultimate difference. As far as anything else, it don't even matter, man. That's real. Give us a crazy prison story, man. What's one of the craziest, crazy craziest things on the road, story. dog? Okay, check it out. It was this cat, man. He went to commissary. He had support. He had a little money for himself. But he always stayed in debt. And, and it's, what's the point of being in debt when you go to commissary and you got to shit it out to everybody else? You know what I'm saying? You go to store to pay me just to come back to me. You know what I'm saying? So it, that was a wild experience just to see how many people that got it but don't know how to hold on or maintain to what they got. In the heart of a true hustler, is to stack your bread, is to have something for yourself. So if you ain't got nothing for you, it's pointless. That's real, dog. Do you feel like all the time you did, man, do you feel like it affected your life for the positive or the negative, and how so? To me personally, I'm gonna say it affected me on a negative standpoint. Being that, I started to realize and think things that not necessarily is true, but I convinced myself that, damn, this person is that, this person is that, really not knowing true intentions of any and everyone. So, to me, it affected me in the wrong way because now I look at people different. And now that I'm free, I see a different light. But at the same time, the ones that love you the most is gonna be down with you when you're on your bottom. So, it, it, to me, it affected me negative because now I got trust issues. Nah, I feel that, bro. And then lastly, bro, if you could send a kite, shoot a message to those who are still doing time right now, what would be your uh, message of encouragement and inspiration, bro? Man, I'm going to say, man, just stay down until you find a come up, man. Them boys that got light at the end of the tunnel, man, education rule the nation, man. And it ain't about going to school and the programs and their self-motivation, man. One-on-one, -on -one, man, getting them books, man. They got a bunch of books in the library, man. They got a bunch of things you can do for you. Don't just try to take advantage of the opportunities that they're giving you. Take advantage of you, who you are. And, that, and that's just the realism of it. I used to sit in my cell and say, because I got caught with dope and phones, telling myself, like, it's going to be better. I'm going to make it through. I got life. I ain't here forever. But for them boys that's there forever, man, live life, homie, and rock out. Don't let the time get the best of you. And that's just real spit. All right, buddy, my first question, dog. What's your name? Where you from? And why you at South by Southwest tonight, G? I can't give you the real, the real name, but you know what I'm saying? Everybody call me Easy. Um, you know what I'm saying? Out here at South by trying to do some music, do some shows, you know, network, meet some people, bro. Feel me? There you go. You already told me, so I got to get it on camera. Where you say you're from originally, though, man? From Jacksonville, Florida. There you go, Florida, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, my name is Eotta King. I'm the host of the Incarceration Podcast. I got one question for you tonight, my G. Have you ever been to jail or prison? Both. Both? All right. Yeah. So if you don't mind me sharing, well, don't mind me asking, bro, why'd you go to prison? 
And uh, go ahead and just give us that brief rundown of that story, my G. Shit. Man, honestly, I was just, I was a wild child. I went through foster care, you know, went through, you know what I'm saying, a rough, rough childhood. So I just was acting up and, you know what I'm saying, really didn't have a place, you know what I'm saying? So I just was, was homeless, living on the streets, and I ended up getting locked up for, you know, Grand Theft Auto, stole somebody's car, um, Grand Theft Auto firearm, stole their gun. It's a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of crazy shit, bro, and, uh, my bad, I don't mean to cut. Nah, you good, you good, are you good. But yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Came home three years ago, did a five five years, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's about it, bro. You know what that's man? what's up, dog. All right, so uh, what prisons were you at in Florida, man? Shit, it's called uh, Brooksville. Brook, it's uh, it's in, it's right outside of Okeechobee. It's uh, it's like a little jig camp. Uh, I'm trying to think what exactly it's called. Uh, I don't I don't know exactly what it's called, bro. Nah, it's all good. What's your you know what DC man? number, dog? I don't know that shit. We don't even got those. We, we don't even got no numbers. You ain't had no DC number? Hell no. Nah. No? Hell no. Nah. What'd y'all have for breakfast Thursday morning? <laughs> hold on, how much time you do? Five years. Five years? Yeah. What'd y'all have for breakfast Thursday morning, but dog? Not, hold on, I did three years in the camp and then okay. five years in the, in the little, the little uh, DDC shit. Okay, you okay. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you said, what we have for what Thursday we, morning? You remember? Thursday morning, yeah, we had a. Uh, what was that shit on the shingle? There you go. Yeah, nah, it was it was some bread, bro. It was some like some gravy and meat mixed into that bit. You know Shank what I'm saying? Shank trade, man. Yeah. Biscuits and gravy. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. I'm for real. Right. Some burnt ass toast. So go ahead and walk the viewers through, man. How was your first day, man, at Jit Camp, bro? Paint the picture, bro. What happened? Shit, bro. As soon as I walked in that bit, it was just uh, it was just people yelling and shit, like you know what I'm saying? A bunch of kids and shit just yelling like, oh, oh, his shit mine, da 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 da, blase blase. You know what I'm saying? But really, uh. It was straight, bro. Nobody really tried me like that. They, you know what I'm saying? They just came talk to me, see what I was on, bro, and uh, seen if I had heart or not. You know what I'm saying? That's about it, bro. T-O-H? T-O-H. T-O-H. Test the heart, man. Yeah, First day? Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, There you go. Yeah. What's one of the craziest things you've seen in the chain game, bro? Shit, bro. I seen a motherfucker get his head hit with a with a lock in a sock, bro. I'm talking about top of the head, bro, like split wide open. You know what I'm saying? Like real, real. But no, nah, I don't seen all types of shit. They be they be having little little shivs and shanks in that bitch, locks and socks, all that shit. Yes, sir. But uh, but yeah, all types of shit, bro. I just seen motherfuckers get motherfucking extorted for food, ain't ate in a week type shit. Have to go and drink protein shakes from the nurse just to you know what I'm saying get protein because they done lost so much weight, bro. It's, it's crazy, bro. Go ahead and briefly just paint that picture for the people who don't understand, like. What does that look like, somebody who's getting extorted and like getting their food took? Like, how does that even happen? So it's like, they, they find somebody that's weak and, you know, doesn't take up for itself, man. And doesn't, you know, doesn't fight for, for what's theirs. And uh, they just they just walk up and take your tray right, right from you. You know what I'm saying? Right off the table, right? You eating that shit. And then, you know what I'm saying? It's like, be like, what you gonna do about this shit? And, you know what I'm saying? If you don't do nothing, that just get them a signal to do that shit every day. You know what I'm saying? Every day. And they'll, they'll just keep doing that shit constantly, bro. I didn't. I seen kids literally get skinny as hell in that bitch, bro, just from not eating, bro. Just pale as fuck, malnourished, bro, like, fucked up. That's really. crazy, dog. Yo. All right, now, um, coming home, bro, was there any difficulties in transitioning out of the chain game back to society, bro? Anything that was, like, it took a while to get back accustomed to? Shit, honestly, bro, when I got out, I got with a girl, bro, and she she really kind of, you know what I'm saying, like, adjusted me into, the, into coming back, bro, and just living a good life, because... I was just a, I was just a criminal, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I was just doing whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like just to make a quick dollar and shit. So she just, she got me back in a, a right head space and you know what I'm saying? Showed me that I can do this shit legally. You know what I'm saying? And live a better life and be happy. That's you know real, bro. So. Last question, dog. Do you feel like that time you did in the chain game, bro? Do you feel like it impacted your life for the positive or negative, and uh, why? Definitely for a positive. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of people that you know what I'm saying that that were in that life that. That's not here today. Didn't wake up this morning. You know what I'm saying? I could have, I could be dead, or could have got life or some different shit. And feel like that was God setting me down for a little bit to, you know, really like, you know, make my life better. You know what I'm saying? And go the right direction that I should be going. So that's real, dog. Yeah. All right. Now, lastly, man, for those boys who are still doing time, bro, incarcerated, man, if you could send them a message, drop them a kite of uh, encouragement, motivation, inspiration, what would it be, dog? Shit, man, just. Keep your head up in that bit, you know what I'm saying? And if you if you are coming home soon or, or it's gonna get out, you know what I'm saying? Try to stay clean, bro, and stay positive and, and work towards doing something better with in life, you know what I'm saying? Instead of fucking off and ending up right back into the same spot, cause you know what I'm saying, it really ain't worth it, bro.
You know what I'm saying? Really not inspired. Where, where can the people find you at, bro? Shit, add me on Instagram, 904 Easy Money. You know what I'm saying? From Jacksonville, Florida, upcoming artist. Got some shit coming soon. So. All right, bro, the first question, man. What's your name? Where you from? And why you at South by Southwest tonight, my G? My name is Chase. From Austin, I'm executive director, CEO of the Hungry Hill Foundation. And I'm here to support Dawa. They're one of my collaborative partners. And we're out here trying to pretty much bring awareness to homelessness. There you go. That's real, dog. My name is Eotta King. I'm the host of the Incarceration Podcast. I got one question for you tonight, my G. Have you ever been to jail or prison? And if so, why? I've been locked up. And the reason why I was locked up is I was out seeking opportunities. Uh, and I guess you say I was a part of the my environment. That's real, bro. I appreciate you for sharing that, bro. Whenever you was uh, in jail, bro, go ahead and just real briefly describe and paint the picture for the viewer. What was your first day in jail like, man? Share the experience, bro. Shit, I was defeated. <laughs> Shit, my first day in prison, I was defeated. They shave your head, they degrade you, they bring you down to nothing. So I spent the rest of my day building myself back up, thank God, etc. You was in TDC? Yeah. What unit you went to? Me, I was at Holiday, I went to the walls. Uh, shit, I don't hear, I hear a few units before. How many years you do? All together, I, probably, I did two years total in TDC. Okay, what was the craziest thing or the weirdest or funniest thing? Give me a prison memory, a crazy one. A uh, crazy prison memory? Uh, shit, man, we had a lot. The craziest shit I've ever seen is when when the Tango Blast beat up the prison guards and had that motherfucker on lockdown. It was about 10 versus like 20 guards. They was just getting beat up. And that was the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. That's crazy, bro. What would be the message, if you could go ahead and send a message to those who are incarcerated right now, what would be the message of hope, inspiration, and encouragement you would share with them boys, man? Hey, say it. They ain't give you a life sentence. That means you can get out that thing. Stay focused and get ahead. When I was in prison, I was masterminding. And now I'm a CEO. I got 187 employees. And thank God he made me a millionaire. All right, so first question, bro. What's your name? Where you from? And why you at South by Southwest right now, dog? My name Q. I go by Q Good. Shoot, I'm from Midland, Texas, originally. And I'm in South by Southwest with my bro. This is my first one. That's real. Well, I'm, I'm the host of the Incarceration Podcast. My name is Eotta King. I got one question for you tonight. Have you ever been in jail or prison? And if so, why? Shoot, I was in, I was in both. Jail, going through the process in prison after I got sentenced. You know what I'm saying? And shoot, but, uh, I got uh, caught up in a conspiracy in the feds, uh, possession with intent to distribute crack cocaine. I got 20 years for it. Got out in 10 years uh, uh, for the uh, CARES Act. You know what I'm saying? The COVID. And so sure, I've been, I've been stepping ever since. That's real, bro. How much time did you do in state total? In state total, I did four years. How much time did you do total in feds? I did six years in feds. Ran CC. What was the difference, the biggest difference that you noticed from state time and TDC to Fed time? The respect level. Ain't no respect in TDC. Ain't none. What was the crazy, go ahead and give me one of the craziest uh, memories or our stories you got from the chain game, whether it be state or Fed. Feds, man, honestly, I seen, dude, I seen two brothers get beat with locks in the sock by their own gang members. They turned on one of their own people, so they people turned on them. How long you been out right now? I've been out almost three years, two years, nine months. What was some of the most difficult, like, realities of transition from chain game life back to society? Man, say it one more time. Like, what were some of the biggest challenges transitioning from the chain game back to society? To be honest with you, I already had a plan when I was getting out. You know what I'm saying? So the transition was easy for me. You know what I'm saying? I got out, got my CDM, and shoot, I've been I've been driving trucks ever since. It was easy. If you ain't got no plan, it'd be hard. But when you got a plan, why you planning in there? It's easy to transition. That's real. That's real. What would be the message, man, if you could drop a kite and send a, a message of inspiration, hope, and encouragement to them boys still doing time, what would you share with them, dog? Man, just have a plan getting out, man. That's all you got to do. Don't do time. Don't let time do you, man. Just get out with a plan and execute. That's it. That's fire, bro. That's easy. That's fire, dog. Anything else you want to share, my G? Man, stay free. When you get free, stay free.
first off, what's y'all's names? Where are you guys from? And why y'all at South by Southwest tonight, all right? Hi, my name is Yanel. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I live here in Austin. And I'm here to see one of my best friends, Maya Sampleton. She has a couple of shows this week. My name is Carly Keys. I'm from Champaign, Illinois. And same thing, I'm here to see Maya Sampleton. She has a show right now. My name is Bree. I'm also from Detroit, Michigan. The Midwest is in the house tonight. Um, I also live in Austin, and I'm here to see Maya as well. Maya Sampleton. Maya. And this is Kenna. Hi, Kenna. Hi. Kenna. Hi. Kenna. Hi. 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 These are my besties. This okay. is Kenna, Bree, Carly, and Yano. Okay, Thank what's you. your name, and where y'all from, and why y'all at South by Southwest tonight? <laughs> We're here to see her. My name is Maya Sampleton. I'm from Austin, Texas, and I'm at South by because if you're not at South by, what are you doing? Fire, fire. Yeah. Uh, my name is Eada King. I'm the host of the Incarceration Podcast. I got one question for y'all tonight. Have y'all ever been to jail, prison, arrested, and if so, why? No. 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 You've been handcuffed. Why? Why were you handcuffed? Walk us through the story real quick. What happened? Alright, uh, you don't want to share it? Nah, it's all good. It's all good. Girl. <laughs> Anybody jail or prison? No? Nope. No? Okay, that's fine. Now, last question is this. Do you guys have any family or friends that have been incarcerated? And if so, has their incarceration affected your life at all? And if so, how? Yeah. Um, my brother has been incarcerated. He's severely mentally ill. Mentally ill people um, do not get mental health treatment in prison, jail, any form of incarceration. They're not treated. They end up back on the streets and then inevitably back in jail and back in prison. Um, that's a cycle that I've had to deal with for, with him and with a lot of my close family for all of his adult life. And no solution to it in sight. So, yeah. Bye. Anybody else? Nah, y'all quiet. All right, where can they find y'all at? Where can they find you? You're the artist. Where can they find you at? Uh, you can find me on Instagram. You can find me a little bit on Twitter, but mostly on Apple Music or Spotify. Uh, my name's Maya, like M-A-Y-A, and then samples in, like sample in a song, and then T-O-N. All at me. Right, my first question, bro, is what's your name, where you from, and what are you doing at South by Southwest tonight, dog? My name's Euro Destin, and I'm the producer of La Fumata. That's what's up, bro. My name is Eada King. I'm the host of the Incarceration Podcast. I got one question for you tonight, my G. Have you ever been arrested, been to jail, or prison? I have been to jail once. Okay, what happened, man? Give us a story, bro. Give us the details. I'd rather not get into it, but just, you know, arguing with people and stuff and just getting into, a, like, an argument, basically, you know? Yeah, no, no, no. It's cool, bro. If you don't mind, man, walk us through your first day in jail, man. What was that experience like? What was going through your mind? What happened? Walk us through it, bro. Paint you know, the picture. It's not a pleasant experience, and I wouldn't recommend it for anybody, you know. And I'm, I mean, none of this is on my record or anything. I was able to get out of my situation, but like, I really felt for people that go through the system and stuff because that shit is fucking scary. And that's definitely something I would never want to be a part of. Before. You know what I mean? I did my like community service and stuff, and made up for it you know for sure and, bro you know I'm now I'm doing music you know and so it's better to just stay out of trouble you know that's what's up dog yeah. um what was maybe something that stuck out to you when you was in jail that night man something Shit, that you I'm, seen I'm vegetarian you know what I mean they ain't got no fucking vegetarian food in there and nobody's nice to you they treat you like an animal in there did you eat any of your trays or no I had an apple <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, what would be uh, a message of inspiration, hope, and encouragement for those who are still incarcerated right now? What, what would you say to them? Find what you're passionate about and just go for it. You know, I, I just started making music, and here I am playing at South by Southwest. And, you know, no trouble here, just having a good time and, you know, seeing a lot of cool shit. I just saw the Mars Volta, like, 15 feet from me, like, earlier this today. So there's a lot of positive opportunities out there. and. You know, everybody just needs to get along, you know, and focus on themselves, you know, and what's better for them, you know. That's what's up, bro. Uh, and then lastly, man, do you feel like that one night in jail, do you feel like that impacted your life for the positive or the negative? And if so, how? Absolutely for positive. It made me realize, like, just keep to yourself, you know what I mean? Like, there's no argument worth you going to jail, you know? Period. That's real, man. Yeah. Bro, thank you. Where can the people find you at, man? Right. Um, Instagram at La Fermata Rocks. 
Awesome, bro. We play at Hotel Vegas on Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Fire, bro. Appreciate you, My G. first question, dog. What's your name? Where you from? And why you out here at South by Southwest tonight, my G? I'm Missy Products right here from Austin, Texas. Uh, born and raised. Mr. Red Jacket, Scarlett Joe Hands. There you go, bro. <laughs> Right. Opportunity uh, that knocks coming out March 15th. Opportunity that knocks March 15th, March Madness. This coming up Friday. You get it on all platforms. It is a playlist. Forget the album. We dropped the whole radio. There you go. All right, my name is E. Addy King. I'm the host of the Incarceration Podcast. I got one question for you tonight, my G. Yo. Have you ever been to jail or prison? And if so, why? I have never been to jail, I've never been to prison. You've never been arrested ever in your life? I've been arrested. All right, Walker, can you give us that story, man? What happened, dog? Uh, tickets, man. It's not even a story. All right. You would you, you spend hey, the night the in jail? on time, yo. Did you go to jail? Uh, Central Booking. Until we uh, saw that judge. Judge threw it out. So, we here, man. Nah, 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 it's cool, bro. But Make what sure about, uh... Your registrations and, and stuff like that. There you go. What about any family, friends, people close to you that have been to jail or prison? If so, how did their incarceration affect your life? Uh, yo, uh, we, we, we gotta man up and we gotta be accountable for all our decisions and things like that. They impact your loved ones just simply when you're not around, man. We out here trying to be on family and community, build something constructive that's gonna have our, our generations to come be blessed by what we do now. So, if, you know, we understand that things happen. We understand that things happen, but, you know, we, we got to be mindful of the decisions that we make. Because we got little brothers, big brothers, little sisters, big sisters, mothers, fathers, family, uh, cousins, aunts. Don't miss out on you, man. It's not, you know, nothing... Uh, I don't have any kind of deep Martin Luther King speech or anything like that other than just simply, you know, we'll, we miss you out here, yo. Let's, let's do right because you matter around here. That's real, bro. My last question for you, dog. When it comes to people in society who look at convicted felons, uh, just like with a negative perspective and act as if people don't deserve a second chance, what would be your message to those type of people who uh, are not willing or are open to give uh, people a second chance uh, back at society, man, and help them out, re uh, reintegrate back in society? Somebody gave you a second chance or a third, fourth, fifth chance just to be the type of person that you came and turned into. So we owe it to our, our fellow man to give them the same opportunity to right the wrongs or just make be a better version of themselves. Give everybody the opportunity and the benefit of the doubt because you never know, they might be the opportunity that not. That's real, bro. Where can the people find you at, bro? You can find me uh, everywhere. Uh, PFPmusic.com. You can find me on Spotify, YouTube, all platforms. Instagram, Facebook, uh, X, uh, Izzy Products. That's I-Z-Z-Y P-R-O-D-U-X. Products firm. All right, first question, Brody. What's your name, where you from, and what you doing out here at South by Southwest, my G? All right, DJ Mays, upstate New York. Yeah. We're just out here connecting with people. I'm DJing for my brother Ben J from the New Boys. About to go crazy. You know that song, You're a Jerk? Yeah, that's him. We about to turn shit up. We about to go stupid. We're out here connecting for the grind. Independent artists. Gonna be going crazy all weekend long. That's fire, bro. My name's Eadie King. I'm the host of the Incarceration Podcast. Okay. I got one question for you tonight, my G. Uh -huh. Have you ever been to jail or prison? I've never been to jail or prison. That's what's up, though. That's fire, bro. All right, the next question is, do you have anybody close to you, family or friends, who have been incarcerated? And if so, did their incarceration at all affect your life? And if so, honest. how? I'm going to be honest with you. No, I do not. No? Okay, that's real, bro. Yeah, yeah. The last question would be this. For uh, just the nation in totality, when it comes to mass incarceration, the criminal justice system, uh, and just uh, the penal system in general when it comes to people getting locked up for petty stuff, what are your thoughts when it comes to need of prison reform and things like that? Okay, that's a great question. Honestly, I just feel like it takes both sides to make a change. And obviously, it's some shit that happened to certain people that it's complete bullshit. Like, me coming out to Texas, I'm worried about that shit, I ain't gonna lie. But we in Austin, yeah, that type of shit don't happen. So, um. That's fine. Where can the people find you at, dog? 
Uh, DJ Mage 315 on Instagram, and we are Lit University on Instagram. There we go. Can I use this for YouTube? Yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. Wow. First of all, bro, what's your name? Where you from? And what you doing out here at South by Southwest, man? Man, I'm Ben J100, though. One half of the group, New Boys. You know what I'm saying? You a jerk. I know you a jerk. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here South by Southwest doing my solo thing, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to get my independent shit going on. Excuse my lingo. Let's go. That's what's up, brody. My name is E.I. The King. I'm the host of the Incarceration Podcast. I got one question for you tonight, dog. Have you ever been to jail or prison? I've been to jail before. All right. If you don't mind, man, share with us, man. Why'd you go to jail? And what was that first day in jail like? Paint the picture for the viewer, dog. Man, when I went to jail, it was over... Uh, a warrant I had that I was running away from so they ended up catching me and uh, when I did go to jail it was actually on my daughter's birthday so that was like the worst feeling ever cuz man I just gave my daughter a present so I was just about to step out have a good time real quick and then damn I was in there for like from her birthday cuz it's in December all the way to the uh, beginning of the year so I was in there and it, it was the worst feeling ever so I, I don't like that Thing, I appreciate you for sharing that. Yes, when it sir. comes to just jail in general, when it were like your average thoughts about it, like just from hearing about jail TV movies and things like that, but then actually going, what's something that stuck out to you that was crazy that you couldn't believe that you seen or just you experienced? Uh, I seen a lot of uh, gang, gang related stuff. You know what I'm saying in movies and stuff in the jails, and that's really crazy because I actually seen it going to jail. You know. In LA, you know what I'm saying? That shit is real, like when I watch colors and stuff like that. But man, that shit is whack, pretty much. This is all whack. You don't want to be there. That's real. Last question, bro. For the boys still locked up doing time, man, what would be the message of encouragement, inspiration, hope you would share with them, dog? Man, for the boys that still locked up, man, keep your head up, read a lot of books. You know what I'm saying? Stay fed, stay prayed up. You know what I'm saying? And you know, keep working out, you know what I'm saying? Keep your bones right, you know what I mean? Just keep your head up, you feel me? Because, hey, you gonna get you gonna get out, you know what I'm saying? God got something better for you, feel me? You feel me? Not there. It's not there. You know what I mean? Hunt it though. Bye. Where can people find you at, dog? You can find me on Instagram at BNJ of New Boys. You can find me everywhere. BNJ, Google me, BNJ, BNJ New Boys. You a jerk, I know. Skinny G King, hey now. All right, first off, man, what's your name, Brody? Where you from? And what you doing out here at South by Southwest tonight, G? GMSC, King Savage. I'm out here with Young Nation right now. From Nacogdoches, Texas, but, you know, from, I've been in Austin for a while. This is my city. What's I'm, up? I'm, I'm with my sister. I'm with my twin, the highest princess. I got Barry with me, my COO, the whole team with me. But, yeah, we out here. We booked all night, man. We're about to go to Pop tonight, Pop ATX. That's where we are. My man came from Dallas. Yes, sir. Pop up shops. Yeah. All that. We got all that in motion. There you Tonight, go. It's, it's on, man. You know what I'm saying? King Savage brought your boy down all the way from Dallas. Now we got a whole week of South by Southwest festivities going on. There you go. All right, look, my name is E.I. The King. I'm the host of the Incarceration Podcast. I got one question for you tonight, my G. What's good? What's good? Have you ever been to jail or prison? If so, why? And go ahead and have you ever been to jail or prison? Yeah, I got court tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, it, man, but, like, uh, yeah, all right. That's all, but I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna just keep it there. No, you don't gotta you don't gotta talk on the case at all. You ain't gotta talk in the case at all, bro. That's cool. But have you ever been to jail before this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, go ahead and paint the picture for the viewer, man. What was that first day in jail like? The first day? Like tell them they can get on. Nigga, the feds ran in his shit. Tell them they can get on. I ain't gonna lie, though. I got, I got to swatted. With that? Last time I was referring to with that. Wes, I got swatted. Yeah, 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 yeah. He got oh, swatted. Okay. Yeah, I got okay. swatted last time. Who is he? Oh. They already walked down. It's like damn, uh, fuck a nigga can ain't had no motion and let the feds came and came and got a nigga. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about. We're on this white bus. Oh. You just passed it, crazy. They came and got me last year. No, he yeah, said you bro. can get on. I don't know. I don't know the feds. Who? Uh, I don't know that. That's enough. Uh, we don't know who that is. Uh, who the police? I already, that's what I'm talking about. No one said you couldn't. She said you can't. I know can. my rights. Come on. I was saying the way trip. Anyways. Are you ready? No, no, just keep going. Let's keep going. All right, so you want to paint the picture for the viewer, man. What was that first day in jail like, my G? All right, the first day. I don't know. Being, being in jail, I don't know. That shit crazy, bro. Like, I was when I was sleeping. I had to learn all the jail tactics, like get the toilet paper, put it underneath the thing as a pillow. <laughs> 
all that shit. But I was, it was cool. I, I got some sleep. I was busy. I, got, I, did, I couldn't smoke that day neither, so I was like, couldn't do that shit. But it was cool. It was true. Yeah, it's fucked up jail, ain't, so. jail ain't cool, though. Stay out of jail. Yeah, just, but I, mean, I was chilling. Yeah, I got out. Shit, I got a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, nah, he, he got right out. He got right out. Yeah. Eventually, it took some time though. Hey, what was the crazy? What was the craziest thing you seen in jail though? What was the craziest thing? Niggas not showering for like five days straight by choice. Yeah, that's crazy. Why they not showering? Close the door. Hey, Kurt, close the door. Close the door. Hey, close the door. What is what's going on out there? Hey, tell him. Close the door. 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 Being and I was just shaking hands and touching everything and eating and in that hole doing the most. Just right? nasty, and stinky. I like I like hygiene and being clean and niggas just nasty. Oh, like, sticky. <laughs> sweat and then just want and then want the top bump. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 like you just, like they just really they gangster. Like, oh, yeah, bro, it's so stinky. Yeah, it's it's still the dirty ass on the bottle. All right, for them boys, for them boys still doing time right now. If you could give them a message of hey, encouragement, man, free, what would it free be? Free bank. Though? Free ghosts, man. Free the boys, no cap. Just hold it down. Just know when my niggas get out, I got y'all. We gonna pick y'all up in something like this or better. And I got a bag for you too, man. Free my nigga ghosts. And look, just hold it down. It's, it is better out here. And then what you did to get in there, don't do that shit no more. Cause me and my boy, we gotta run the ones. I told him. I told him. I told him to do that shit. Me and ghosts, we got we got one of the ones. But free my nigga ghosts for shit, y'all. That's real, buddy. Right. All right, what about you, my G? What's your name? Where you from? And what you doing in South by, dog? Hey, what's happening? It's your boy B Reed, Young Nation. You know what I'm saying? It's lit. It's going down South by Southwest. Young Nation, we in this motherfucker. There we go. Same question for you, my G. Have you ever been to jail and prison? And go ahead and get a viewer, man. Your first experience in jail, what it was like, and paint that picture, Brody. Right. Uh, as far as prison, nah, I ain't, I ain't going there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got too many lawyers for that. But jail, yeah, I'm, I'm in another jail. You know what I'm saying? Cause uh. You know, you gonna always have like, people on your trail, on your tail, you know what I'm saying? You can't you can't stop it, bro. So all you gotta do is move more tactic, move tactic, move more smart about her. That's all I can say for him. That's real, bro. What's one of the craziest things you seen in jail, dog? <laughs> the crazy thing I seen was uh man, niggas niggas in there who fighting over peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, bro. I'm like, wow. I'm like unbelievable. Them niggas are hungry. But it, it, it's not. It's really wasn't that bad because it was two fat niggas, so it wasn't really unbelievable. Like, uh, so, so that's you, the you understood? Thing I ever, I ever seen though. So you understood? I understood. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you knew why they were mad. <laughs> I understood. That's real. And for the boys still doing time, bro, what would be a message for them, dog? Man, free fat pet. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Man, pat, hey, pat still, he's hey, still in that bitch, bro. Pat, pat, free no, fat no. pet, RP little loaded. You know what I'm saying? Free bank, free ghost. Free bank, free ghost. Cause they do the most for your boy, I ain't lying. There you go. And where can where can they find y'all at, man? You can find us at YUNG Nation on Instagram. You feel me? At YUNG Nation on Instagram. You did. That's where it said. That's where I'm gonna be. Yeah, my name is uh, at. Hold G up. Here you go. At GMSC King Savage. GMSC King Savage. GMSE King Savage. GMSE King Savage. And come come see the show, man. Uh, my first question for you, dog, is what's your name, where you from, and what you doing out here at South by my G? Goddamn so out here, just trying to hit these stages. I'm out here, and my name is Nig, and I'm from Taylor, Texas. There you go, from Taylor. There you go. All right, listen, my name's Eada King. I'm the host of the Incarceration Podcast. I got one question for you tonight, my G. Have you ever been to jail or prison? Sure, I've been to jail. Okay, if you don't mind me asking, what'd you go to jail for, dog? And paint the picture of your first day in jail. Shit, I went to jail, got down back in Wilco, got down, man, fucking, man, they, I was stuck in that cell, man. I had to borrow money to get out, and they were just, didn't want to let me out, even though I had, had to borrow money and shit. I was just stuck and fucking, it was like a fucking hellhole, man. I couldn't get out, but I even though I had the money and shit, gave them what they wanted, they just still tried to hold me. Compared to the movies and TV, man, and then when you experienced it in real life, what was something that stuck out to you that you wouldn't expect that you saw? Something that was crazy, man. 
Say it again? Like compared to what you see in the movies on TV and all that, and then going to jail for the first time in real life, what was something that was like different that you wouldn't expect that you saw? Something that was different that I wouldn't expect? Uh, yeah, what was something crazy you seen when you was in jail, dog? Something crazy was just goddamn, just the guards goddamn just, whenever you calling for help, hitting that buzzer, and they not goddamn responding, and you hitting that buzzer and they not responding, and it's like really fucked up. Whenever you really need them and they not, they they really ignoring you and then they answer that buzzer whenever they want to get answer that buzzer. That's real, bro. Whenever, if you could give a message to them boys who are incarcerated right now, and if you could give them a, a message of encouragement and inspiration and hope, what would it be, bro? Hey, man, we just got to try to do better and stay out the way because, man, the more time you end up, you're giving your time to them and shit. That's other shit, more important shit you could be doing than rather than giving your time to them folks, man. That's people real, got bro. kids and got, them, got families to feed and people that's in need. That's real, bro. Where can the people find you at, dog? Shit, you can find me on IG, N-I-G-E-E-E, -E -E, underscore, underscore. Well, first question, brody, what's your name, where you from, and why you out here at South by Southwest, my G? Frozen, frozen, frozen. It's cold, man. I'm out here from Orlando and shit. I got a show right there at the Nar Bar this weekend coming up on the 16th. There you go, dog. My name is E.I. The King. I'm the host of the Incarceration Podcast. I got one question for you tonight, dog. Right, Have bro. you ever been to jail or prison? No, if, no, sir. No, neither? All right, that's cool, dog. Do you know anybody close to you, family or friends, who has been to jail or prison? And if so, how has their incarceration affected your life? Shit. That's a strong question. Um, yeah, I, I do I do have uh, some people close to me that are currently, you know, up the road and uh, some people that I have done time and shit like that, yeah. You know, it makes it hard to maintain bonds or connections, you know? You know, that's the easiest, I guess the easiest way for me to say it. That's real, bro. If you could send a message of encouragement, inspiration to the boys up the road, man, what would it be, dog? Um, shit. Keep your head down, do what you gotta do. Uh, try to stay in contact with your people, you know. Um, and like, fuck 12, nigga. On God, bro. Like, <laughs> Hey, where the people can find you at, dog? You can find me online at Dr. Freon, or you can find my team at 98ENT underscore 98 Entertainment. We the hottest underground label to pop out from Florida. Hey, uh, yeah. First of all, question, Brody, what's your name, where you from, what you doing out here at South by Southwest? My name is Justin O'Pont, feel what I'm saying? I come from Union, New Jersey, 908 shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here performing with my boy Dr. Uh, Dr. Freon, Frozone, feel me? My boy TJ Foreplay, you know what I'm saying? And we. You feel me? We got my boys in the cut too. You already about to perform. My boy Hus about to perform. You know what I'm saying? This week. You feel what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely tap in with these brothers right here. But you feel me? Yeah, just out here doing my thing. Um, that prison question. I just wanted to take the mic because I really feel like we needed to boss that shit. Like I feel like prison. You feel me? It does more harm to good. Like a lot of people go to prison and end up becoming more fucked up. Like it's a high chance of you doing the same shit and going back, you know what I'm saying? Because they treat you like an animal in there. You treat someone like an animal, you gonna come out an animal. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I have to take fucking decades of abuse, locking a human being in a cell for someone to want to better their life, you feel me? I feel like there's a positive way to do that. You feel me? You want positivity out of somebody, show them love, you know what I'm saying? That, that's just me personally. I got a cousin who's locked up in Florida, you know what I'm saying? Free my, uh, free my cousin Ovid, you know what I'm saying? This is my personal opinion, feel me? I feel like we need to abolish prison, like abolish it. You gotta go. Place it with therapy, replace it with something that can work. That's real. Where can people find you at, dog? Look, uh, Justin O'Pont on the gram. That's Justin, like Timberlake, O-P-O-N-T. You know what I'm saying? O-P-O-N-T. You know what I'm saying? Justin O'Pont, TikTok, uh, and Instagram. Tyson. And listen, if you've done any time, I'm talking about a county jail, state penitentiary, federal, or even drug programs, whatever. If you want to share your story on this channel, go ahead and email me at EI the King Booking. Go ahead and put your stories in the comments below. If there's anything that I talked about slightly, you want to go, you want me to go more in depth on or anything I haven't talked about at all and it's a good idea drop it in the comments let me know and also remember I am
am a rapper. My artist name is EI The King. You can find my music on all platforms. I also have another channel, YouTube channel, uh, my official artist channel, EI The King. And I also have another podcast. It's called Let Me Talk Bro where I talk more so about my life, music, ministry, and all these things. Also, I have a Patreon with exclusive content. Everything is in the description below. So listen, man, till the next time. It's your boy, E.I. The King.